Hi. In this video, we will create a drop-down filter for HTML table in vanilla JavaScript. As you can see in this demo, we can filter data in the table according to the value selected in the drop-down option. Now let's proceed to the code. So here is the HTML document, I have set a title, and the sample table with dummy data, it has 10 entries, I have also set some CSS styling to arrange the table in the center of the page. Now let's create an event listener to the DOM content loaded event. We will get all the column headers and generate drop down in each column header. We will also display the current index and the column header text on each loop into the console. Now let's create the generate dropdown function, this function will accept a parameter of index, now I will create an array called column data, and then we will get all the rows excluding the first row. If the current index is equal to zero, then we will push an empty value to exclude the column row. Next step is to remove the duplicate data in the column. Now that we have the unique column data, we can now generate the select element and its options. We also have to set the ID attribute for the select element. Additionally, we should add an event listener to the select element. This event will trigger two functions. The filter table function and the clear select function. Now it's time to create the clear select function. This function will clear the values of all the select element ensuring that we can only filter one value from a column. Now let's create the filter table function. 
this function will get the selected data from the select options element. I will use a nested for loop to match the search item to all items from the row and hide all the table rows that won't match to it. Now it's time to test our work into the browser. So that's it. That's how you create a drop-down filter for HTML tables. I hope you've learned something today. See you in the next video. Thanks.